clearly I love a challenge, and that was a challenge right before our earnings this morning. I've actually got a book coming out later this year talking about the challenge culture. So I'll take it head on. He's absolutely wrong. Um, we're delighted with our store returns. The whole premise is that we're making money on the back of our franchisees. Actually had a note from our franchisees earlier today saying how wrong he uh, happens to be. In California, which he actually referenced, uh, we're seeing very good cash on cash returns and 7% of our growth in the first quarter came from California. Uh, we have a fantastic business model. We're continuing to evolve. We're supporting our franchisees. We're looking at their unit economics day in, day out. We're absolutely obsessed with it. We're right on top of the numbers. And, and what he quoted this morning was based on a report that was wrong and we have since corrected. Although, Nigel, he has been cautious about the whole fast food space for months now, uh, for partly because of this franchise model and just saying, you know, there's only so many ways to grow the pie to benefit the parent company and so that the franchisees win. Has there been a deceleration overall in either visits uh, to your locations or the amount of money you're making on each trip? It, it, we see an increase in, oil, increase in oil prices right now. Are you seeing a deceleration in any parts of the business there? Well, Kelly, you raised a number of interesting points there. Uh, firstly, I'll take the last one. Uh, we've seen before when oil prices go up, we at Dunkin' tend to do better. Um, the next thing is that our franchisees are very excited about our new model, our blueprint for growth. They like the next generation store. They will be investing in it. Uh, you know, one of the issues we have right now, a number of them want to get on with it before we've completed all our testing. Um, I think they feel the economic climate is, is very good. The only real worry I have right now in an economy that's overall pretty strong at 3% and a lot of, take this morning's article from USA Today, a lot of small businesses are seeing opportunities with tax reform. The only problem I see is a lack of labour. And uh, we talk to the administration, we talk to senators, congressmen, because here, particularly here in the northeast, we've got unemployment at 3%. We need to cure the labor shortage problem. But in terms of the model, we're excited. And I would differentiate Dunkin from some other chains because we're seeing growth. We continue, along with Starbucks, to grow uh, hundreds of stores every year. Some independents have closed down based on our investigation. But we're taking share from those independents. So we feel very... Uh, very good, very strong, and I would completely challenge Mr. Chanos' uh, assumption that uh, things are going badly at Duncan. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.